Welcome to part three of Prentice Hall's Geometry Copyright 2009, Section 10.6, Circles and Arcs. I'm Mr. Pi, and our discussions today is going to be centered around the Arc Edition Postulate. The Arc Edition Postulate is very similar to the Segment Edition Postulate and the Angle Edition Postulate. Adjacent arcs are arcs of the same circle that have exactly one point in common. You can add the measures of adjacent arcs just as you can add the measures of adjacent angles. That mention of adjacent angles and how you can add their measures is the segment addition or the angle addition postulate, which is similar to the segment addition postulate, which tells you you can add the measures of adjacent segments. Postulate 10 1. Arc addition postulate, the measure of the arc formed by two adjacent arcs is the sum of the measures of the two arcs. Here we have the measure of arc ABC, that be this major arc here, is equal to the measure of arc AB, this smaller minor arc, plus the measure of arc BC, this other smaller arc, minor arc. Example 3T, find the measure of arc XY and the measure of arc DXM. We're going to do that right now. We're going to first identify arc XY on the diagram. Arc XY goes from here across D and over to Y. This arc, the measure of arc YD is 40 degrees and the measure of this central angle DCX, which is related to the measure of dx or arc dx is 56 degrees so this arc measures 56 degrees so to find the measure of arc xy we need to add the measure of arc xd and we'll add that to the measure of arc dy Simply substitute those numbers in. XD is 56 degrees. And the measure of arc DY is 40 degrees. When you add those two numbers together, it gives you 96 degrees. So the measure of arc XY, 96 degrees. Now these numbers could be algebraic expressions, pretty simple ones, but nonetheless they may not necessarily be numbers. We're going to take a look at finding the measure of arc DXM. First thing I like to do is start off by identifying it on the diagram. We have to find the measure of arc DX all the way around to M. That also includes the point W. Something you should notice is that arc XWM is a semicircle. So to find the measure of arc DXM, we have to add the measure of arc DX, which we know from the last example is 56 degrees. The measure of arc DX, plus the measure of arc XWM. Substitute the numbers, 56 degrees. Since arc XWM is a semicircle, it measures 180 degrees. When you add those two numbers together, it gives you 236 degrees. In this example, in this video lesson, we've used the arc addition postulate to find the measures of various arcs in a given diagram. This is Mr. Platt. If this video has helped you, leave a comment or rate the video.